Well, she's very seriously hurt. Who is this woman? Sorry, we can't give out her name at this time. She still hasn't regained consciousness yet. And until she does, until she can help us set the record straight, we want to keep Christian here. Wait, you can't keep him overnight. What are you talking about? I told you I didn't do anything. I was trying to help her. What are you saying? Are you arresting my son? Like Cord the Magnificent left, I didn't even notice. <laughs> must be a sign, don't you think? Things must finally be looking up. Baby. You know, I hope things work out with you and Blair. And you know, I mean, whatever's going on with you two, whether you want to admit it or not, you love her. And you both love the kid that's on the way, right? Well, you got that right. Good. But, you know, if things don't work out with you and Blair down the line, you know where to find me. Mrs. Vega. Well, then why are you keeping him? Oh, forget it, Ma. They're cops. They can do what they want. We need more information, ma'am. And we don't want Christian talking to any of his buddies until we get it. Now, I'm not saying that he's guilty. I'm not saying that he's innocent. But we need time. He didn't hurt anybody. Mrs. Vega, I assure you, if Christian did not do this, he's going to be home very soon. In the meantime, he's going to have his own cell. He's going to be safe. Safe? If my Christian stayed the night, then so do I. Ma'am. Listen to me. I'm not leaving here without my son. So if my son has to stay the night until you can talk to this woman and she can tell you that he didn't do it, then I will stay the night too. Because I can assure you, Estoy seguro. My son is innocent. You sure you don't want to join us for some Rocky Road ice cream? Luna'd love to see you. Nah, I'm sure if the kids are asleep, Luna's asleep too. Thanks anyway. Here you go. Take care, huh? Thanks. Hey, buddy, I hope you heard what I said. About Blair. Let her go. There's nothing but misery down that road. I know, Max, but I can't help feeling that there's something going on with her. Something's tearing her up inside. She's not happy, I can see that. What's her own darn fault? You're right about that. Come on. Todd. Marty. I thought you gave up drinking for doctor. Don't listen to me. I've had Look, too much fun. Look, listen to me, Todd. I gotta go. I got a paper to publish. Listen to me. This is important. It's about Blair. There's been an accident. That's QID for the next three days. All right. Larry, Marty called me. She said Blair is here. Yeah, she's uh, resting right now. Well, what's happened? Is she all right? Well, she'll make a complete recovery. Unfortunately, uh... She's lost the baby. We did everything we could. I'm sorry. Listen to me, this is important. It's about Blair. There's been an accident. What are you talking about? What kind of an accident? Where is she? Landview Hospital. She was mugged tonight down on the docks. The docks? What's she doing down no by the docks? No one knows. She's been unconscious ever since, since the attack. Now, it doesn't look like you're in shape to drive. Yeah, but so... she's okay, right? She's at the hospital, so... Oh, God. The baby. Did they say anything about that when they brought Blair in? Is the baby okay? Come on, you tell me what I want to hear. Is the baby okay?
Larry, are you sure that Blair's all right? Yeah, Atkins has handled everything smoothly. Don't worry about it. He's her OBGYN. Is he positive that everything went yes, well? Yes, all right? Look, losing a fetus in the fifth or sixth month isn't exactly the safest thing in the world. Well, since she was only three months along, it wasn't that difficult. Now, it's, in a way, it's kind of a fortunate thing for Blair, because if a woman loses well, a baby earlier... Well, Larry, wait a minute. Did you say she was only three months along? What... Are you saying that Blair was only in her first trimester? Yeah, why? You're gonna burn your throat. I put ice in it, like you care anyway. Here's some more. You can't walk into the hospital stumbling out of drug. Gotta believe. Believe what? To believe that Blair's okay. I mean, she's in a hospital, right? So she's gonna be okay. And if she's gonna be okay, then the baby's gonna be okay. I mean, you're a, you're a med student, right? You tell me. Well, the first thing you learn in med school is how much you don't know, but I know they're really trying. She didn't tell me that does. They said that her car ran out of gas or, or broke down or something. They couldn't find a purse, so the assumption was that it was a mugging. This isn't doing anything. I'll just roll down the window on the cab. Fine, I'll follow you. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. Of course, I'm certain, Dorian. Blair was no more than three months pregnant. Uh, Larry. I don't know where you got the idea she was five or six. Larry, please. I mean, really, do you have to talk about this where the whole world can hear? I wasn't aware that we were. Look, I'm sure that you will agree doctor to doctor, that it might be best if we didn't discuss the details until Blair's husband gets here. We should hold off. Yes, in fact, it might be better, in everybody's interest, if I was the one to talk to Todd. Look, I'm the attendant. You have no place here, Dora. Larry, I'm family. Blair is my niece. I know them both better than you do. Not that I'm trying to undermine anyone. I don't think that Blair could be in better hands. It's just that if Todd Manning is not Look, told in the right way... I will take care of Todd's way, temper. Don't worry about that. I know how to do that in my own way. I need help over here. But this is a very serious matter, Larry. Dorian, I know Larry. it is, and it's my job. I'll take care of it, all right? Thank you. But no thanks. Look... I'm not discussing this any further, Dorian. Blair is my patient. And she's my niece, Larry. You know, if this is indicative of the insensitive manner you have with your patients, I must say, it doesn't say much for the care given in this hospital. Really? And, no, 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 no. And why do you get this attitude with me? I have I'm an Larry attitude. Larry, think so. Larry, oh, Larry. Oh, I feel... Oh, Cassie, I'm so glad that you're here. Where's Blair? What happened? She's had an accident. What kind of accident? It wasn't an accident. She was mugged. What? She was down at the docks. Apparently, her car broke down or something, and someone attacked her. She fell pretty severely. And what about the baby? The, the baby's all right, right? Larry, nothing happened to the baby. Cassie. No, Larry. Cassie, we did everything we could. Oh, dear God! Andrew! Poor Blair. How's she taking it there? Well, she doesn't know. She's still sedated. I... I'll look forward to telling her, or Todd, for that matter. Oh my God. But look, Blair is luckily she's going to be fine. I mean, if something as awful as this had to happen, it's a good thing it happened early enough. In the Larry, point. please, uh, you have to go they into the details right now. I, everybody is obviously very upset. Uh, as a matter of fact, why don't we sit down, all right? We can let poor Larry get back to his work, and I'll fill you in on the problem and all of the medical details. Come on. Uh. 